What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be showing you all five new vehicles that have been released in the new The Criminal Enterprises DLC. The first four vehicles can be purchased from Legendary Motorsport, as you can see right on the top right here. Only one of them, which is Obey Omnis EGT, can be customized in your agency with Imani's tag, which means you can put missile lock on jammer, remote control, armor plating, and also proximity mines. The rest of the three cars can just be customized normally. Alright, now let's take a look at the first car, which is the Torero XO. This car costs 2,890,000. It's a two door hyper car. The front of the car is actually based on a Lamborghini car, a Lamborghini Countach, LPI 804, which includes a similarly designed triangular intake on the sides. If you look at the GTA The Criminal Enterprises artwork, you can see this car appears to have the butterfly doors open, as you can see on the top right picture right there. Alright, the next car is the Lampadity Corsita. This is a two-door sports coupe, which is based on the real-life car, the Maserati MC20. This car will cost you $1,795,000. The next car is the Benefactor LM87. This car will cost you 2,915,000. It's basically a Group C endurance car that appears to share similarities with the Mercedes-Benz C11 with the straight cut rear wheel and also the exhaust panel. The next car which has a similar price tag as the Lampadetti Corsita, which is a million seven hundred and ninety five thousand dollars, is the Omnis EGT. This is an Obey car, which is similar to the real life Audi, and this model of the car is actually based on the Audi e tron GT car in real life. And the last and final car that has been released so far in the Criminal Enterprises DLC is the Bravado Greenwood. It has a trade price of $1,098,750 and without the trade price, you can purchase it for $1,465,000. You can use Imani's tag in the agency for this car which means you can put missile lock on jammer, remote control, proximity mine and also armor plating. This car bears a strong resemblance to a Chrysler 5th Avenue. The grille, the vinyl roof, and headlights are closer to the 5th Avenue, but the headlights have been moved above the turn signals resembling a Dodge Diplomat Plymouth Grand Fury car. This car looks really amazing. It's one of the cars that is available in GTA Vice City. And you can actually customize this car to look like a muscle car. Speaking about customization, I'll be including a link in the description area for the full customization for all these five cars. So be sure to check it out. And also, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button. And thank you so much for watching. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.